This is one of multiple Genius 3 Lab videos. This is a troubleshooting video. The Genius 3 topology and troubleshooting setup is available below this video. Try and complete this yourself or follow me as I troubleshoot the network. In this lab, we told that we need to troubleshoot issues as much as possible without using the show run or show start commands. In other words, don't cheat. Don't just do a show run and look for problems. Try and use debugs and show commands and other options to find specific issues in the network. Only use a full show run or show start as a last resort. Okay, so back on router one, show interface serial two slash two. Interface is up and down. Capsulation is PPP. On router four, Show interface serial two slash zero. Encapsulation is PPP, but we've got a problem here. So debug PPP authentication. Notice the interfaces are down on both sides. I'll stop the debug at this point. Notice challenge from router four, challenge from router one. So they both are using CHAP. Authorization is required. Unable to authenticate the peer. So we've got a authentication problem. Show run interface serial two slash two. That looks okay. Both are using PPP chap. Show run pipe include username. Show run pipe include username. Can you spot the problem here? What's the problem? Notice router one has a database that includes router four, but router four doesn't have a database that includes router one. The username here should be router one, not router four, because router four needs to authenticate router one. Notice as soon as I added that username to the local username database, the interfaces come up. So interfaces up, up, show CDP neighbors, We've got a neighbor relationship. Let's look at details. That's the IP address of router one in the CDP output, and we can ping router one. So we've solved the problem on this link. Now, what about connectivity? Show IP protocols. No protocols are running on router one. Show IP route. Show IP route, rather. We've got a problem with routing protocols on router one. EIGRP is running in autonomous system one on router two. So there's a problem with the routing on these devices. Router one, as an example, won't be able to ping the loopback of router two until we enable a routing protocol. On router three, show IP protocols. Okay, there is a potential problem. Can you see the issue here? What's the problem in this output? Notice ERGRP 100, ERGRP 1, they need to use the same autonomous system number. Show IP protocols. Router 4 and router 3 are using autonomous system 100. Router 2 is using an autonomous system 1 and router one hasn't got EIGRP enabled, so let's enable EIGRP on router one in autonomous system 100. So show IP EIGRP neighbor. We've got one neighbor relationship at the moment, which is to router three. So on router two, we need to change this autonomous system number. So no router EIGRP one, router ERGRP 100. Network and enable it on all interfaces. So that looks better. Show IP ERGRP neighbor. We've got a neighbor relationship to router two and router three, but no relationship to router four. So on router four, show IP ERGRP interfaces. ERGRP is only running on the loopback interface. Show IP protocols. 
Can you see a problem in this output? Router 4 has got an interface serial 2 slash 0 to router 1. What's the, the problem here? Notice this, passive interface. So router EIGRP100, no passive interface serial 2 slash 0, 2 slash 0 rather. We don't want to make it a passive interface. And as soon as I disabled that, an EBA relationship was formed to router 1. So on router one, show IP ERGRP neighbor. We've got three neighbor relationships. That looks a lot better. Can we ping the loopbacks of the routers? Yes, we can. So that looks a lot better. On router two, can it ping the loopbacks of the other routers? There's router one, router three, and router four. Looks a lot better. So we've successfully solved the problems in this network. There was a problem with PPP here, problem with PAP here, problem with CHAP here, and there was a routing problem in the network. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.